do you know how an enzyme actually denatures? Today, I'm going to try and explain to you actually what happens. It's all to do with a temperature or a pH change around an enzyme that is not optimum for the enzyme's normal function. Temperature causes denaturing if it's too high. pH, on the other hand, can work either way. If it's too low for the enzyme or too high for the enzyme, it can also lead to denaturing. But what actually happens? When an enzyme is subjected to conditions that are not optimum for that enzyme, then the bonds in the enzyme's tertiary structure, remembering it's a protein, start to break. And it's always the weaker of the bonds that exist there. If we can recall from our theory of enzymes, there are hydrogen bonds, ionic bonds, and covalent bonds, mainly, that hold that 3D shape, that tertiary structure of the enzyme together. Now, the change in conditions actually doesn't really interfere with the covalent bonds because they're very, very strong. However, hydrogen bonds and ionic bonds are weaker. And if they are interfered with, then that 3D shape, that tertiary structure starts to change. And as it changes, it changes everything. So if these break, we end up with a change in the tertiary structure of the enzyme. That is going to ultimately affect its active site. If the active site changes shape, it's no longer going to complement the substrate that should normally bind with it. And if the substrate no longer is able to bind with the enzyme's active site, then we have no enzyme substrate complexes forming and the reaction will not happen. So if you've enjoyed this video today and you want to learn a little bit more about some topics, then make sure to follow us and I'll see you next time.